Okay, in this video, we'll have a quick chat about how we change fractions back to ratio. Now, if you're looking at this um, at this video, it means that you, you already know how ratios work. You already know how fractions work. So this is just going to add to your skill set. I'm going to start by just writing down a simple fraction. So there's my uh, a two thirds there. Now, let's put it into context so it makes a little bit of sense to you. Now, assume that this two thirds represents beads in a bag, okay? So, or buttons if you like, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'm gonna do some buttons there. And here's my last button. So this two thirds basically tells me that two thirds of the buttons in this bag are red. You can see I've got three buttons together, two of them are red, so it means two thirds of the buttons are red. Now, if I ask you to write this as a ratio, it should be pretty straightforward. Just look at the buttons in a bag. The red to blue would be two to one. So that's just basically going to be two to one for red to blue. This is now finished. That is this fraction written as a ratio. But you might ask, well, what if I don't want to draw stuff? What if I just want to be able to see the fraction and work it out? So here I'm going to do another fraction. That's four fifths there. Actually, let's make that three fifths. I don't know why I want to make it three fifths. I just want to make it three fifths just for the hell of it. The bottom number tells you what the total is. And if the total, if the total there is going to be five and you've already got three up there, then what's left from the five? Well, two will be left. So it means that this as a ratio is going to be three to two. When you add it up, it still gives you five. And here, three fifths is there. And then the other part that's missing is two fifths. Now, this question would most likely be in context. I'm just doing it in its raw form. What you might have is something along the lines of, same as I've done before, there are buttons in a bag, um, three-fifths of them are red. Um, can you write the ratio of red to whatever the other color is? So it might be that red to green might be, you know, just three to two. So you would have finished your answer by saying this is red to green, all right? But in this case, I'm just doing it in its raw form. Right, so on my next slide, here I've got some fractions. What I want you to do is write it as a, as a ratio with the top number being the first number in the ratio. So it, it'll be four to something, five to something, 11 to something, seven to something, and so on. Pause the video here, have a go. Okay, so I hope that you got through those four questions quite easily. Well, let's have a look and see what we've got here. So down at the bottom, we remember that the denominator is the total. So if I've already got four, then what's missing is just going to be one to make five. The next one, the bottom number is nine. The denominator is nine. If I've already got five, what do I have left to make nine? Four. Same below. Denominator is 12. I've already got 11. What's left over? 1. And last of all, the denominator here is 13. I've already got 7 there. What's left over to make 13? 6. All right, so this is now finished. Obviously, when you see these questions, like I said before, they're going to be in a real context. It's going to be like a fraction of something is whatever, and you need to write it as a ratio to the other thing that you've got there. There are other things that you can be tripped up with, okay? So what I want to do is now do a final bit of um, explaining here. So let's just say that this four fifths, let's go back to my buttons in, in, um, in, in a bag, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly draw my bag, okay? And from my bag, I'm going to have one, two, three, four blue buttons and one red button. So all together, I've got five buttons, four fifths are blue, one fifth is red. You could be asked to give a ratio of blue 
to red, which we've already done here. Because blue came first, there is four, and then you got one there. So blue to red would be, um, sorry, four to one. Probably should write that again. So that's going to be four to one to make up the five. But you could also be asked for red to blue. So you need to understand that ratios can't be written in any order you feel like. Not because you have the four and the one, you think you're right. It has to be in the right order. So if they say red to blue, the red needs to come first. So that's going to be one to four. So that's another thing, okay? Or they can say, what's the um, ratio of red to the total? Okay, so make sure you read your question properly. It's very easy to make a mistake here. So red to the total, well, the total is five, okay? And you've only got one red. So the red to total will be one, two, five, and so on. So that's just a little aside just to get you thinking about how ratios work. So before you leave the video, don't forget, you have to put it in the order it was asked for and read the question because they could sometimes be asking you for the total, uh, a ratio that involves the total, okay? Um, so just, just be mindful of that. All right, so that concludes this video. I hope you really understood this video. Um, and if you did, that's absolutely fantastic. Thank you for watching.